Hello everybody, my name is Alexander Berger. Today I want to present a little bit about myself and I'm proud to announce that since three months I'm a QUIMP member. QUIMP stands for Quantitative Imaging in Medical Physics and the next three years I'll do my PhD thesis here at the team. A little bit about my background. I was born here in Vienna and my professional background is a master degree at the Technical University here in Vienna. During university I mainly I was mainly interested in atomic physics, quantum mechanics and fundamental physics, but towards the end I did really want to decide to go on in applied physics and that's what finally brought me here at QUIMP and that's only also what my research interests are. Here at QUIMP I'm mainly interested in imagery construction, Monte Carlo simulations of different medical imaging devices and techniques. So as you are a subscriber of this channel you may already know our motto here at QUIMP. We, Quimp, we make every photon count. That doesn't count only for my team methods, also for my PhD thesis. So what is my PhD thesis all about? As you may know from a f former video here on this channel, PET positron emission tomography is based on an injection of a tracer into the patient body that can emit uh, positron and annihilation stuff afterwards. This tracer, as we do it normal here in PET, is for example an FDG. FDG. This FDG has good properties emitting photons. This is an optimal positron emitter. What we want to do in a collaboration with Madrid and a co collaboration with Siemens is to test non-optimal positron emitters. For example, we use rubidium, gallium or even iodine 124 and with this we want to test a thing that has the problem. You know, these non-optimal positron emitters have very good chemical properties as well as longer half-lives compared to standard positron emitters. What we want to test is to um, take care by means of Monte Carlo simulations and other simulations to get rid of a pumped gamma emission and really push science forward to giving an optimal image with this non-positive positron emitters. Maybe we can talk on this a little more into detail about the next video where I can sh really show you what's going on in that version. I want to see you over there. In the meanwhile, just let me know if you like this video, if you like this channel by subscribing or by thumbs up in this video. Then, last but not least, very happy that you made it through. If you want to have more information about our team, just click the link in the description below to enter our webpage. See you next time.